Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is your friend, First Letter, here with another episode of the most professional, the most proper sports show in all of the land. Put it on something. I am proud and overjoyed to have my brothers here with me. Joseph, how are you doing? Greetings and salutations. Oh, lovely. Timothy, how are you today? Many blessings, my brother. Glad to be here for another episode of this fine sports entertainment. And we are so blessed to have you. And we're so blessed to have you, our viewers, we, to be celebrating our 75th, 75 episodes. And that's only because of you. And since we've reached 75, we've altered our structure here, put it on something. We read comments and we respond to what the viewers want. So we realize that we are all college educated. So we need to show that on this show. So we're gonna be more subdued, more <laughs> standard, more corporate, so to speak, going forward. Psych! <laughs> Fuck that shit. This still put it on something. That's what we do. And I am your homeboy first. And this is the realest, most entertaining sports show in the game. Been that way. Proud to have my brothers here with me, as always. JoJo, what the business is, man? What's happening, man? Always good to be here and alive. No doubt about it. T! The 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 <laughs> yeah man. I had a long conversation with Connell. I told Connell, man, we ain't it ain't like that no more, dog. It ain't like that no more, T. Nah, bro, you yeah, can't. You through with your boy? Nah, I ain't through with him. Sometimes you just gotta distance yourself. Sometimes <laughs> <laughs> that boy say he gotta distance himself. Yeah, well, distance. look here, America. If y'all are wondering, man, what the fuck them boy had going on? What the fuck was that all about? Like I said, America, it's episode 75. You know what I'm saying? And just like Jack State had their haters, we got ours. We got our trolls. We got our critics. We got motherfuckers that are saying that, oh, oh y'all cuss too much. Y'all being uh, too unprofessional and all that kind of shit. So, but just like Jackson State, we fueled by the haters too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We are fueled by the haters too, and you saw what they just did to their haters. Y'all saw what they did, okay? Yeah. You saw how they handled Connell Maynard at Alabama a &M. You saw what happened. They destroyed them boys, okay? Now, I can't yeah. count. It exceeded even what I predicted. It exceeded what I predicted, okay? I said they were going to win. I said, I, said the headache, close. I said the headache game was going to do their thing. But I didn't know that offense was going to do what they were going to do. Okay. So we about to get into all that. To the king out there that told me, I can't wait for you to, uh, I can't wait to hear your take on Alabama a and I told you, brother, I got you. Don't worry, I got you. He said, don't bite your tongue. And God damn it, we are not going to do that. Fuck that mm -hmm. shit. All right, but again, before we get into it, I got to tell you, this here is sponsored by Statement T. <clears throat> Statement T, every T-shirt you wear makes a statement. And let me show that motherfucker one more time for y'all. Just, 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 just in case y'all thought it was a game, okay? Because y'all need to go to Statement T's LLC.com. Solo yourself up. Solo yourself up. Solo you, up. You need to go to so oh, you Solo that bitch too. Solo team. up. Solo that bitch one time. <laughs> one time oh, for your man. mind. Y'all need to go to Statement T's hey. LLC.com and cop this one right here. You know what I'm saying? A lot of money. Coming after that vic victory, coming after that thrashing, that smashing, and all this shit them boys were talking. <laughs> Led by their head coach talking shit. You, the, the kids be talking shit like on social media, and he had to rein the kids back in. Hey, man, don't do all that kind of stuff. Don't give them no bulletin board material. No, it was your head coach. It was your head coach giving the bulletin board material. Okay? Your head coach. So... If you are fueled by the haters, go on over there to statementllc.com and make this statement. Now, he don't put it on something. We 
got an exclusive. They coach wasn't the only one talking shit. No, no. Nah. Right? The coach wasn't the only one talking shit. Somebody right. put in a lot of effort with they shit talk. We gonna get into the game, America. We gotta get the backdrop okay. to show you why that ass whooping was like it was. Okay, okay. You gotta understand what led to the ass whooping. Okay. <laughs> See, I got a history background, America, and I have to teach motherfuckers what's the long term causes of something happening, and what's the immediate causes of something happening. Okay. So if y'all looked at that score and you say, "God damn, why Chase they do the move like that? God, why were they still throwing the ball like that? Why were they doing all the trying to run up the score?" Because it was deeper than rap. Last year, when Jack State, not last year, excuse me, last season in the spring, mm -hmm. when AM whooped Jack State, got to get to him. Okay. Well, I wouldn't well, say whoop. whoop. Whoop the wrong verb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wrong verb. They won. They, they won the game. Jack State put up points. Hell, we had Quincy Casey here. They put up points. Okay. But AM got the victory. They went on, got the swag title. Cool. Can't take that away. On this show, all right, we probably have shown AM the most respect out of motherfuckers who are outside of that family. Oh no, that's real. Between us calling the quarterback Mr. Glass, uh -huh. T been showing man a hell of love. I've been saying I'm hella entertained by him. So we've been showing love. But Cole Maynard, y'all remember what he said. Told the young, y'all, you talking about all them four and five stars? Uh, uh, we get them too. We we re recruit them too. Talking about what you gonna have in the fall, what you gonna have next? We playing right now. You talking hell of shit? He followed that up with, "Hey, coach, I hurt my ankle getting off the bus. I need me one of them scooters." He did. We'll talk about how that turned out. But America. I got some. It's a dress from Bulldog Nation. They didn't come to me directly, America. But we have our sources. We plugged in. Okay. We right. plugged in. Right. And somebody took the time to send a damn note to Jack State, 1400 Lynch Street. It's from, they addressed it from Bulldog Nation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Huh. And this is what they said. You see it on the screen right now, America. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. <laughs> they said, and y'all can read along with me, America. Y'all see it? Pin this up in y'all locker room, please. Listen up, you clown. Y'all don't have a snowball chance in the hell on beating us. We have made y'all our homecoming queen. Y'all offensive line couldn't block my, I'm, you know, I'm correcting the mistake, of course. For y'all motherfuckers that say we unprofessional. I didn't write this, they did. Y'all <laughs> offensive line couldn't <laughs> block my 57 year old grandmother. Glass will have a field day on those sorry DBs y'all got. Mm. Mr. Sanders, I want you, I want you so what I don't know what he's talking about right here. I want you so the swag can see that you ain't nothing but mouth and y'all ain't smart enough to beat us. That's what he's saying now. So come on down and get this ass kicking. Y'all have no running game and no running back. I think this is the first game that Jack State the run game came alive. I think this played a role. Oh, come on. And no coaching. This some bitch said the game was gonna be a and m 45 JSU zero. Y'all won't score. Fuck y'all, sorry. That was from Bulldog Nation. I'm glad he ain't dated because that didn't age well. First of all, <laughs> and then I'm gonna throw to my brothers. I got to get they takes on all this shit. That it. it because I look, I watched the 30 for 30 War Eagle Roll Tide. Mm. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Was really amazed by it to see just how fanatic some motherfuckers are. Yeah. But I've never experienced fanaticism 
that close, other than my young boy who's a Steph Curry nut. I'm going to leave it at that, okay? But That's nice. That's very nice of you to say Yeah, it, I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> if you're, if you're uh, 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 putting on some OG, y'all know my, my young boy that I'm talking about. We used to have him on the show. From the beginning. Yeah. He on the block list right now because they're disrespectful. But <laughs> that shit we just showed y'all from all indications is fully authentic. And uh, I know if I was in that locker room, my boys, yeah, I would have put it in every motherfucker locker. It wouldn't have been one copy. I would have copied, copied it and put it all across that bitch. And who knows? Maybe that's what they did. Because that offensive line came out there and blocked for a change. The running backs got on down. Hit a game was a hit a game. Okay? So I don't know what the fuck they were talking about with that shit. Your DBs or something like that. Uh, well, maybe maybe the front seven said, yeah, ass ain't going to get a chance to deal with our DB. We're going to get a record setting uh, sack, sack number. We're going to go out here and get 10 sacks. Why you talking all that shit? JoJo. Um, I still got on my black. Because I was told that it was day homecoming. I was not expecting to see a homegoing celebration. Because that was a funeral. <laughs> like, like I have never seen, it's almost like they took their life, woke them up, and took it again. Like, they just kept pounding on these boys. Let me tell you something. If you could see Coach Maynard face on that sideline. He wasn't expecting this either. He looked he looked shell shocked over there. Mm-hmm. But y'all know I always bring the stats. Uh, according to ESPN, for the people that need to know the sources of where I get my stats from, uh, Mr. Shadour not on my watch. Sanders, seventeen or twenty-four, two hundred and forty-nine yards, four touchdowns. Ah, Mr. S- is it Santi or Santi? You know what? He had 12 carries for 122 yards and two touchdowns. He's Mr. Marshall. Now. Give him that mister. He's yeah. Mr. Marshall now. Yeah, you be Mr. Marshall after performance like that. He ran the rock. Hey, and shout then, out to the old line, the big uglies. No doubt. Then you know my boy, Mr. Warren. Don't call me old. I am a new man. It's a bad That's boy. a bar, by the way. That, that is a bar. That is a bar. <laughs> right. Five receptions, 80 yards, a touchdown, and a big time return. He should have scored on it. Should have went ahead and punched it in. But, man, that defense, that defense, Mr. I am the problem, Houston. Ah, that boy, that boy giving them names. Come on with it, then. I got to give them names after a game like that, bro. That boy probably come he on, on, man. Sunday. He gonna play on Sunday. Like literally, the offense, it almost looked like the offense didn't even have to do anything for a while. The first few scores, dog. Well, hold on. The defense scored one of those scores. Yeah, yeah they scored the first one. And then a lot of them other scores, like you got Newman setting them mm. up. Yeah. Giving them and then I think Maynard went for it. Yep. <laughs> went for one. <laughs> Roll the dice. Wrong. Man. Look here. You want me to tell you how bad it was? I didn't even call my brother T. I just I just let it I just let it go. I, I said, you know what? That's my brother. I'm not gonna call him. I know he was rolling with him. But I know down deep, you know, T T really he's a JSU fan down deep. We just gotta bring that up out of. Him. But yeah, man, uh I don't know. Mr. Glass didn't look like an NFL prospect. Last two that weeks. Game. Last, Last two, two weeks then hurt his draft stock. I'm, yeah. And from that standpoint, I'm most, I'm sad about it. That's gonna yeah. take take money up out of black man's hand, but and not only that, they uh the defense made that run game non existent. Like it, it was just it, it was nothing. Uh man, to be honest, the fifteen points, I think JSU kind of just like gave that to him. They're just like, you know, we it. You know what you know what this looked like? Well, no, this looked like man. Alabama beating Southern Miss. That's what this looked like. Yeah, it, it did turn into that. So I, I'm glad it's over with. 
Uh, we no longer, I don't know if we'll hear from Coach Maynard, but I'm sure T will be able to fill us in on that. T, mm -hmm. the streets want to know what your boy say when he called you, man. I blocked him. <laughs> T, put that man on the block, little man. You do bill collectors that way. You do family you don't want to talk to that way. Ex-boyfriends, ex-girlfriends. You block them. It's that simple. That's, you why, can't that's, why, Apple a great, like that's why Apple makes such a great product. Right. And I own an Apple iPhone. For that reason. They call it privacy. And I need my privacy. Right. He, that's what it is. Down, T. That's what it is. Now, let's get to the nut cut, as the old okay. folks say. Okay. Phone. Here's what it is. And I said this last week. They had to pull one, two, three, four, five A's out of that name and put them on the field to beat Jackson State. Obviously, they don't believe in being A+. Here's, here's really what it is. The prices went up, in the words of Fat Joe, after the locks and the uh, dip set versus. The prices went said. up. That's what he said. Damn. What all swag schools got to understand right now is, is that you're going to have to come a lot harder. Things come very easy to Deion Sanders because it's Deion Sanders. He's able to convince kids. He's a master manipulator, master marketer. He understands how to get kids, the most out of kids, get these kids here and let their talent show. For years and years and years, swag schools have always gotten by with there's a there's a there's a kid that flashes on the screen and he he may be an NFL talent. What like for instance, Titus Titus Howard, I believe it's Titus Howard, was Alabama State offensive lineman that went first round in the draft. A lot of people don't even realize it. The great Steve McNair, it it he just was an uber talented guy that just happened to really just strike across the country and people recognize that this dude was a, was an all world talent, mm -hmm. but those come so few and far between now prime says, Hey, I can get you about, I can get probably six or seven guys to the league, maybe 10 right now today. He could probably get 10 to the league. I think Newman is an NFL prospect because he's, he's speedy. He's, he's, so got, speedy. he's, he's got the skills. He's got the skill set. Shadur can be an NFL prospect. The sky's only the sky's the limit. I mean, he's he's groomed in the household of a Hall of Famer. The sky's the limit. You could take four or five guys from that defense, maybe more. Houston got to go, Aubrey Miller. I'm just saying. So Aubrey Miller is a ball hawk. That boy always around that ball, man. The price is up. Ham, so, I can't forget Ham, who was who was killing even before Prime got yeah. there. Shiloh. Shot. I mean. He he's gonna lay a hat. He hits harder than his daddy. Let's just call it what it is. Let's just call it what it is. He does. He's do he, he just come down and he's just gonna come down and hit way okay. harder than his daddy. Strong safety. Okay, so the price is up, and that's the thing. Connell doesn't realize is that look, Dion made Dion made the statement in one of the Instagram posts talking about this raggedy little locker room we in. I don't know if y'all saw that. Oh no, I missed that one. He, he was talking about the raggedy locker room we in. They trying to rush us up out of here, and he was trying to make his little statement to oh, the kids. Oh shit! Yeah, I look missed that one. Go look it up. <laughs> he even said it. This raggedy locker room we in. Oh, coach, ooh, don't ooh. say that to him. I agree, but that's not on. The price is up. Yeah. The schools, these the swag schools have now got to raise their bar, and the bar has been raised quite obviously at Jackson State and Alabama A and M's. The Alabama states, the Texas Southerns, Prairie Views, all of them have got to put put their resources together, put their money where their mouth is, and say, "We're gonna go get the same thing they got," because that's the only way. If Dion decides to stay here for the next four or five years, that this is gonna work. Connell's gonna become. Connell might have to go back to his Hollywood bag. After a while, he might just have to go get lifted, because the price is up. Right. You need to call Al you, Pacino you, to help him come recruit up. You saw a game now. You saw, that game, that game right there was Tecmo Bowl and Mortal Kombat all in one. You run the score up in Tecmo Bowl. Everybody know we swag around here in the South when we play football, ball games on the on the on the stick. 
-hmm. We swag people. And at the same time, there were things that died on the field. Akil Glass's stock just died on the field. There are people that are going to turn it off. The Akil Glass train. It's gone. The only way he's going to stoke that train back up is a great senior bowl performance or whatever it is that he's got to do. Or he just got to kill it in the combine. But that's just what you saw. Because I would say if it was just a Jack State game, you can argue he didn't have protection. But the Grambling game. He ain't never had protection. True. Grambling game, he had too many turnovers as well. Like So back-to-back -back weeks, it was bad. And again, I like to reference my homeboy Ray Ray, my homeboy Martin Leverett, who's a contributor to this show. Weight room. The old line for Alabama A&M, they don't, they don't bench press. They obviously don't bench press. Because it, because anytime anytime you see anytime you see legs hey bent backwards all game long. So that back to back week that T didn't see it. The antithesis of what somebody supposed to do. He just said Lane Kiffin, a head coach who don't watch tape. You don't mm -hmm. watch tape. He just said these are offensive linemen who don't, don't do a bench press. Don't bench press. <laughs> it's obvious. See, it's obvious. Listen. They got to have that iron on their chest. I said by one. I said by one. Right. Joe said by one. Mm -hmm. You nobody believe this is going to be like this. But here's what. Uh, but, but I'm going to reiterate what I just said. And I'm going to change it. This was Madden and Street Fighter. It was that bad. Mm -hmm. And if you will pull my name back up, the Paul, P A W, you know what that stands for? The professional ass whooping, because that's what this was. That's what this was. The price is up. The price is up in the swag. Hey, hey that shit hard. <laughs> Connell Block, the price is up. Y'all, y'all gonna have to get it together, Alabama. The, the, everybody on swag is, in the swag is on notice now. They paying attention. That boy said Connell is blocking. The price is up. The price is up. Shit, that's true. And I and I want to I want to check myself on some. <clears throat> Check myself real quick, cause I don't want to get caught up in the fact in, in, in sports. It's bigger than that, you know what I'm saying? So I don't want coach. I can't laugh at coach calling the locker room rag, cause we already know HBCUs. No, I, don't I don't feel that. We know HBCUs are uh, behind, and hell, our field was just fucked up before prime came. You know what yep. I'm saying? Yeah. So, yep. yep. But I think what coach <laughs> will. Coach in that moment, and he was petty as a coach. All petty. Who been in Ryra? Mm -hmm. I just said some shit I ain't had no business saying. Yeah. In the moment, because I'm pissed. I'm finna lead my boys in the battle and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Not only that, he probably felt he was being rushed because of the way he handled them on that yeah. field. Oh yeah. And they they were just being salty. Yeah. They were. So you know, yeah. in the moment, I, I you kind of that's in the moment. Yeah. But yeah. I wanted. I want to check myself because I ain't in that moment right now, and I know better. You know what I'm saying? And I, we we know that's not Coach Prime because you got to think about it. Coach Mayne, I asked for a school to Coach Prime got him one. They it's said pain. it midfield, so it's you know Coach Prime is hey, not it. And shout out to my young boy Brian Hart. I think my young boy had the inside scoop on this. I can't prove it. <laughs> but before the end of the game, that boy said, what if Coach Prime go to midfield and lead them a little scooter? It's up there. Matter of fact, there it is right on the, on the screen. That's that's the tweet, okay? You see the time on it. He said that shit before the end of the game. Right. Okay? Right, right. So, I, B, you got to hit me up and let me know. I think he had the inside scoop or what the hell was going to go down. <laughs> I think he had the inside scoop. But, but America, wouldn't, wouldn't that school to cheat though? I think somebody, could somebody, we, could, we, could my man Connell get a little bit better school? No, I think that was on purpose. Not the way Connell was cutting up, T. He ain't cut up, he just asked for school. Connell been cutting up, man. And I get it now. Now that I know he was in any given Sunday, I totally get it now. He ain't starstruck by no prime. That's right. He was around motherfuckers who. Yeah, Jamie. They, they bigger than Prime. Al Pacino yeah, and Jamie Foxx, they bigger than Prime. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
in, 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 in general culture. Like, Coach yeah. Manning, you ain't you don't have them four and five stars. He that he you don't talking about. He don't he don't. You and, don't have and, those. Hey, but we knew we knew he would cap out with that. Well, we knew he would. Cap he out. better use that as a recruiting tool, though. What? I, I will I will I will I will hit your ride on Coach Prime's back and recruit that way. I'll keep going at him. I just got blasted. I still keep going at him. So I get some people that maybe Coach Prime has done wrong back in the day. And first they got thing, some kids. He got one. He came in the game. First, Who, first Quincy. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm saying like coming up oh, okay. into, you know what I mean? The first thing he need to go get is an O-line. He need five holes before he do anything else. Before he put Quincy Casey through the same punishment Akil just got, he <laughs> might want to provide him with a line. Should Quincy thank Coach Prime? Because if JSU didn't do that, Quincy wouldn't have played Saturday. See that? I, I almost said though. that Quincy was going to play. The, the level of dominance was so exquisite. They only scored. The last one was in garbage time. And the first one is because Jack State that let's 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 clear uh make sure we say this Jack State, even in the 61 to 15 thrashing, they got something to clean up, and that's them penalties. Oh, well, the Absolutely. penalties definitely, yeah. Because discipline they, they get they got and that's part of Prime's you know mantra, is that's one of them discipline <clears throat> uh, and being smart, you know what I'm saying? So they got mm-hmm. I think they had like 16 penalties, so they do need to clean that shit up, okay. Uh and on the other drive. The first drive they scored on was because of a damn penalty. Extended yeah. the drive. Uh, they had a face mask penalty, and that's what helped them boys score. So if it, you take that shit away, I was hoping they were going to leave them with a fucking goose egg. That's what I want. <laughs> I take 61-15, but I was hoping goddamn goose egg they had. But, here's, uh, what, here's what I think. Jackson State going forward, them your running backs. Who you saw today, them your running backs. Santee, J.D. Martin, those are running backs. Rest of the way, don't so switch it up. So you put and pick it down, huh? Don't switch it up. Don't, don't. I mean, no, pick it, come in for the goal line. You know, you want to really pound them in, into submission type thing. But mm-hmm. going forward, Santee and J.D. Martin are your starters. Them, them, your, them your boys. Mm-hmm. Do not go away from that because they just hit the hole. A lot better than than Pickett, and Pickett just got to get ahead of steam. It's just them boys just them boys are just different when it when it comes to that run game. They just give a different element. They just quick. I'm just glad to actually see a run game because I mean, we've been asking for it. Been asking for it. What and was we it? said what was gonna happen if we got it? What was it? Mm-hmm. it if they play yeah. balance, if Jack State plays balance like that, the rest of the season is a wash. Everybody needs to just tuck it in, bro. Just oh, yeah. tuck it in. I agree. Cause they were balanced, right? The, the yards were just about the same, rushing and passing, right? Hey, that shit was beautiful here. That shit yeah, was beautiful. Um, two forty-seven to like two forty-nine or two forty-nine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was it was it was balanced. That, that's that's the of, attack you want. And one of those scores, they scored on a uh, jet sweep. If I'm not mistaken, some yeah. get creative. Basketball. Got creative. Get creative. So they were able to do that, get creative and score, but also just. Hand that bitch off. Have we validated? Have we validated under the comments we got? Is TC the the OC? Is TC Taylor the office coordinator? Or what? Cause somebody put that out. Yeah, I did see that. I'm, 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 not I'm trying sure to figure that. out: is he the is he the guy? Is he the offense coordinator, or is it still a code thing, or what? We need to find that out. So that be we we had to hit up Rashad Milligan on that. Com- comment family Milligan. to hit us up on that. Oh, we got we got a plug. Oh, in. oh, we, oh yeah. Know, either way, you know, we got because uh, beat writer. Shout out to Rashad Milligan. Uh, excellent reporter for Clarence Legend. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? We, we can get some clarification yeah. from him on that. Need some straightening. Yeah. But America, I hope y'all didn't think y'all going to end this goddamn thing without doing what y'all know we got to do. JoJo! You know it. I, I hope they ain't think I forgot. T. I hope they ain't think. Get it in on it, T. I, I got an unidentified number. It might be Kanye. Kind of, hold on. What you got in your hand, Will? I'm drinking some Bel Air Rose out the box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
at the bottom, man. Oh, how you get what this we number, doing? man? What we doing? What we doing? Hey, well. Keep don't fucking that can interrupt this. Huh? Oh, I'm gonna holler at you later. Coach, I'm not gonna try to interrupt. I'm gonna holler at you, dog. You know, he ain't gonna stop being a holler. Get it, get it, drum major head, well. Oh, shit. Oh, man. 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 Fuck y'all think this is playing no god <laughs> man say with crayon damn game <laughs> fuck y'all think that and the boom won that shit at, at, at hell time the boom played back that ass up and everything <laughs> at hell time i thoroughly enjoyed the boom you know what i'm saying america y'all chime in and tell us what y'all think about that thrashing that blasting the professional ass whipping that professional ass whooping. The oh, ball. Let me go back. Let me go back to my corporate. Oh, I lost my damn glasses. They got to get that inside, man. That, that professional that inside, bottom whooping. Yes, yes that's it. Handed yeah, yeah. out yeah, yeah. by Jackson yeah, State spanking. University. That spanking. Yeah. <laughs> Put it on some. My kids wanted me to tell y'all to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me across all social media platforms, like the videos, and share them. Did I forget anything? And turn on the post notifications. Y'all heard them. And also, visit StatementTeesLLC.com and shop with us. That's Statement Tees. Every t-shirt you wear makes a statement.